Hello everyone, it's Jeanette, Grafty Dork. Tracy is involved in a um, initial kickoff 22 um, called an hashtag initially you 2022 and she's made a little book um, and she's going to fill it like, with like sample ideas so um, you've probably all seen it so pop over and see Tracy's initial um, kickoff 22 in her YouTube on her YouTube channel um, she made a list for those of us in her group. Um, these are what she's going by. Um, and her initials, TMF, Texture, Dimension and Frills, is what she's using. So to follow on from Tracy, I made one with mine. And I'm, I, JLD is my um, name. Um, Crafty Dork is the YouTube channel. So I've got the four of them and I've got the bits there that I could um, call on as well as Tracy's um, to fill up my little ideas book. So I just did this with some cardboard that I had. I just put three pieces together. Didn't realise the spine was going was as big as that. I sewed around the edge and then I thought, oh, we'll make it a bit bigger and we'll see how we go. So to follow on from Tracy, I had one of these, you, you, when you go out to, to dinner, they put your knife and fork in there, um, we at, no, at breakfast we actually went to, um, and um, I thought, oh, I'll use that as a little, and then I can put my pieces of paper in there, fold it up and pop it in there. Um, one of her texture ideas was using napkin, so I did that on some brown um, paper. I won't go through all the pieces of paper because as I sort of put things on there I'll tell you about the paper that's in there um, so this is a bit of brown pap packaging paper that I used um, um, a napkin on and I used some decoupage um, glue here I just put a couple of tags um, so I suppose I should c cut them off shouldn't I so cardboard that was or it was actually packaging um, and then decoupage I've done um, so and then I put a little dangle um, these were already pre-made and I'm going to use some of my pre-made things because I've got so many just sitting around um, that I'm going to and that was a tag um, that I'm going to use them up okay um, here was um, a material frill um, with these I had a piece of cardboard um, you can probably just see it behind here uh, and I stitched the frill onto that and it was like big long circles so I cut a piece of that off and popped onto another piece of packaging paper this um, is on a piece of lined um, index book and that's another um, decoupage same deal here I scrunched it up and I don't know why but it's picked up green from somewhere whether it was in the brush that I was using. Um, it didn't come out on, I guess it did a little bit here, but you can see the different texture um, on like Tracy did. Um, I haven't put anything else in there yet. So I'm just going through, this one is a frill and this one was a material one, a, a paper one. And I just cut up strips of scrapbook paper that I wasn't really that keen on. Um, had a, a about a half inch I suppose that one is half inch just over one and a half centimeters and just three quarters of an inch there you go and so I put that down the center and then just zigzagged as I ruffled it up so that made a really nice little side page ruffle and then I did a tag my straw paper was a bit long I didn't cut it off I just folded it up so straw paper um, coffee dye paper and this is a tag that I had already um, I've got a box of bits and pieces that I've gone and collaged on in here and so like I said I'm using it up bits that I have that I can put into the ideas book so I can look at that and think yeah I've got the 
um, coffee paper. It's got a bit of texture because it's wrinkled a little bit. It's got a bit of buckle on it. Um, texture on the top with a bit of lace. Vintage um, Tim Holtz um, wildflower dye. This is Tim Holtz paper at the back. And I've, as you can see, I've collaged. I want to trace these little labels and a bit of um, wool to texture thread. Um, and then I just, I think Tracy did too. She just put hers on with a clip on the side. Um, I had these um, little envelopes that I'd um, done with um, some Edith Holden paper. And I thought I'll pop that in there. I might even just do something over them. Or I might um, make them into envelopes and put things in there. Um, so there's four. The last one's a little bit different in what's what papers are in it but they're all different papers and um, I did get some water paper out watercolor paper where did I put that I haven't put that in there yet I'll find it one day and put it back in so what I thought I'd do today um, is just decorate that with you guys so it lies um, flattish like that I'm going to put a, a book plate on as um, so I can put ideas. So I've got that. Um, I don't know that I'll use the screws because uh, they'll go straight all the way through. And I want to put something else on the front. Now I might have to stop the video because my son is coming over, I think, to get some apricots. We've got some apricots on the tree. So I thought... I would put that like that and I might put a couple of brads in it and then stick it down just a moment I'll okay back again so I've got a couple of little brads and <clears throat> we're not supposed to make it like um, a journal it's all about the texture and the and fussy cut and distress and um, look of it all so this I will put at the top and I will glue it down after I've done the little bit of decorating because I actually put them in and then I just bend them a bit so that the the brads don't show and then just do a bit of a with whatever I've got just to make sure they don't wriggle around and uh, so I hope everybody's watching, carrying, following along with Tracy and um, doing this. It's a bit exciting. I'm trying to do six things at once. I want to do the, the sewing and I want to do the journaling. So I thought this was the easiest way for me to be able to do both. So when I put this on here, I'll put a little bit of texture behind it like that. It's got a bit of dimension with that coming up, like so. And then I've got, oh, where did I put it? Oh, dear me, here it is. I popped some double-sided tape on a piece of vintage paper. And I'm going to just cut that out because it'll all be stuck. It's not going to be um, slide in and out like some of them. I, I want it to stay in place. So let's just cut the vintage tape. So that will stick on there. That will go on there. And then I'll write on there. So that's that part done. Now I just want to put something else on here and what I thought I might do because I've got that now it's going to be a pain in the can I just that's better that's better that's better just just a second sorry about that hubby came in the kids are coming over and our little granddaughter's got a, a funny little mole on her leg and I just wanted I said to Joe please go and get a check it just doesn't look Perhaps it's just the, the nursing me overreacting a little bit. Oh, I don't know. 
but anyway better to be safe than sorry so this is a little cluster it doesn't look too bad does it that's a blue one no, not I'm more earth, I like earthy tones more than greens and oranges and yellows and I made these all so long ago actually that tones in there doesn't it we'll do that so it's just a little piece on the front just to make it look a bit um to decorate it up a little bit Oops. might need to fill this again by the feel of this so i hope everybody's been well while i've been playing with my grandkids riding my bike um, what else have I been doing? Stitching for the collaboration. Um, tending my garden. I've been putting, um, I've put um, um, tomatoes and cucumbers and greens, chard, spinach, um, some lettuces. Oh, and I put in some sweet yellow capsicums. And I'm sure Joe's father-in-law grows these really hot yellow ones. Well, I reckon he switched me plant. Although I didn't get it from him, but they are hot. And we're not fond of hot. <laughs> but I did pop a couple into a salad and... It wasn't too bad, but I had to cut it up really fine. And our son likes hot, so he's taken most of them. But I've really enjoyed doing that, getting that back on track. Now I'm just going to see if I can, just for a little bit of extra texture. I wonder what this one would look like. Oh, that's paint, not curl drops. That one's curl drops. Um just pop a little bit of texture onto the butterfly i held that on with a um, tim holtz little clip and it's just paper all sorts of papers just um making the cluster like we normally do here comes somebody there we go actually that might just be enough just a little bit yeah, I don't want to do too much. That will do. Just a little bit. Okay. And now, we'll pop this piece up the top. And then we'll be done. And I'll love and leave you in peace. And you can go and check out Ch Ch Tracy's channel. Check out all the, um, if you're a member of her craft um, Facebook group, you'll already have this. But if not, join her Facebook group. Come on. And um, have some fun and join along with her. I'm sure a little channel like me doesn't have to tell you that, do, you, do I? Because that's... I think most of us know Tracy. Now this one is just on double-sided tape, so I'm just going to stick that down. Did I finish saying about Mara and her little mole? Yeah, they've changed the appointment time, so we've got to have the other the little fella. For a while, while Joe takes Mara up to have this looked at. Just, I'm sure it will be fine. But we need to keep our, I'll just hold that up a little bit. Keep on these sort of things. So there we go. And all I'm going to do, I've got a little black pen. Is right. Wrap and ideas 
Facebook. There we go. So that's the front cover of my book, and there's a few bits in there that I've done. So I hope you enjoyed all that. Um, there's some of the things that I've thought of. I was going to go through them with you. Junk jewellery, jump rings, journal card spots, journaling, junk mail, jute, lace linen, lines, distress dimension, die cuts, dots, doilies, distress ink, stangles, digitals, collage, calico, cardboard, coffee filters, circles, charms, clusters and crocodile. Okay, so, and challenges at the bottom. We can go and do some challenges, but not for this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't very long, but at least we, um, we're we on the road back to um, some, some videos. So stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Enjoy whatever craft you're doing, whether it may be paper, fabric, multimedia. You have a ball. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.